Hey guys, this is Eagle Pound Dolphin here, and today I'm gonna be doing a movie review. So for this movie review, um, I'm, I'm gonna be, be reviewing a movie that came out in 1984 and it's directed by Steven Spielberg. And this movie is also a prequel to a movie that came out in 1981, and that is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So yeah, so the plot of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is basically it's a prequel to the first Indiana Jones movie, which is Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is set which is set. Like I think a year before Raiders of the Lost Ark, which which is set in nineteen thirty five, we have in Indiana Jones who basically is in Shanghai and he is and he and he was in like in a party like in like a, a night in a nightclub and, and then one day and then while he was in the nightclub she meets the the singer of the nightclub which is Willie Scott so basically like in the film um like while they were in the nightclub um um they they were they were being a, Attacked by some by a crime boss in Shanghai, and basically they escape. And then while they they escape, you have you also have um Indian Jones's sidekick who is an orphan Chinese boy named Short Round. So basically, so basically the three um were, were had escaped from Shanghai, and then they basically went went on a plane to go to go to go somewhere. And then basically while they were on the plane, and they had to they had to they had to get out. They had to. They have to get out of the plane because uh, because the pe the pilots in the plane had tricked them. So basically, they, they they so basically the plane had crashed over the Himalayas, and then basically in Indian Jones, Short Round, and Willie Scott had escaped from the plane by an inflatable raft, and then they, they basically, and then they basically found out that that they were in northern India, and basically while they were they were in northern India, they they found a bit they arrived in in, a, in at the village of Mayaporthia, which is in India, and basically. The villagers were, were were pleased for 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 them to to come because they because they're trying to find a sacred stone that that was stolen and they, and, they, and they're trying to find their missing children as well which were which were taken by the evil forces which is like nearby the Pancot's palace so basically Indian Jones and Short Round and Willis Scott went to the to the Pancot palace and while they were there they found a secret a secret entrance. To like the to like the cave under underneath the palace, which is which is led by which is led by which is led by by Molan Ram, who's basically using the cho the missing children from the village to be to become slaves, and he was the one who stole who stole those stones, which is known as the Shikara stones, and basically and basically while they were there, they were being they were captured. So it's basically up to like Indian Jones, Wooly Scott, and like Short Rounds to try to like. To escape from, um, from Mola Ram and basically try to get the 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 Shikara stones and basically and, and try to save the missing children so they can go to, home to their parents back back in the village. So yeah, so basically that's like the plot of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So what do I think of it? In my opinion, I thought Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was a pretty good prequel to the to the to the first Indiana Jones movie because I thought this movie was pretty good. I thought everything about this movie was pretty good because you have like. Harrison Ford, who played Indiana Jones' in film, he did pretty good. You have Kate Capshaw, who played Willie Scott in this film, did pretty good. And you have like, and you have like, um, and you have like Jonathan Key Kwan, who played Short Round in this film, he did pretty good as well. And you have like Amrish Purin, who played Mulan Ram in the film, who's the antagonist of the film, he did pretty good as well, which I pretty, I really enjoyed him. And also, I, I thought all the other cast members did pretty good as well. And yeah, also I thought like the the music in this film was good. I thought the story of the film was good. I thought everything on this movie was pretty good. And yeah. And also, you guys have been wondering, um, Hugo Patrick Tolfin, have you seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom in the theaters? And the answer to that question is, no, I have not seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom in the theaters because I was negative 21 when this movie came out, so I was not able to see this movie when, he, when it first came out. But when I first watched this movie, I thought it was pretty good. I thought Indiana Jones was a pretty good prequel to the, was a pretty good, Indian Jones and Temple of Doom was a pretty good prequel to Rares of the Lost Ark, and I thought it was pretty good. And also, you guys have been wondering, um, Hugo Patrick Dolphin, would you recommend Indian Jones and the Temple of Doom to a friend? And the answer to that question, to that question is, yes, I will highly recommend this movie to a friend, because if you love the Indian Jones movies, and you love movies that star Harrison Ford, which, which by the way, Harrison Ford also played Han Solo in the Star Wars franchise as well, if you love him, I would highly recommend you watch this movie, because to me, I think you're gonna love this movie as much as you do to the first Indiana Jones movie, which is Raiders of the Lost Ark, and some like our movies that that are made by Steven Spielberg as well. So yeah, and also you guys been wondering as well, um, 
Hugo Patrick Dolphin. When will you write Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom? I'll write Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom a uh, 9 out of 10. It's a pretty good movie. Everything about this movie is pretty good. If you have not seen this movie, I highly recommend you watch this movie because to me, I know you're going to love this movie as much as you do other movies movies like Indian, like the Indiana Jones franchise and some other movies that were, that were directed by Steven Spielberg as well. So yeah. So yeah guys, um, that's it for this movie review. So I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. So make sure you like the video, comment the video, share this video to all your friends and family. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos of Hugo Patrick Dolphin. So yeah guys, um, I'll see you guys in, in the next video. So goodbye everybody and that's about it from Hugo Patrick Dolphin.